Well, how's it, guys? Yeah, I couldn't wait for him to go on FPV to get my radio to me, so I ended up getting this from Get FPV after confirming that it was the underground. I don't know if you can see the Nirvana label underneath that. Maybe. Hopefully. This is Nirvana instead of Fly Sky. And then I just took my boss cam off of my X9D Plus and snap it on here. Stays out of the way of the screen. I can still get to my screen stuff. You guys have seen the program. Apparently they Lotus, lo Lotus, loaded the firmware 2.2.2 .2 has a lot of stuff on the SD card um, but non-executable and I've been told that that's been working on as I speak I'm not going to go through any of the functions you guys seen a million videos I just wanted to, to show this uh, mod I made um, because there's a uh, another guy that had to take this lanyard holder. If you hear something squeaking in the background, that's that's my bird cooey parrot on my shoulder. Anyway, this lanyard here he he took off because he wanted to put. Well, he did. He put his battery across here, and he's a pincher. Um, so am I. Uh, so he says he doesn't use an extra. I told him I needed one. So I spent today trying to figure it out. And it was kind of easy um, to power up. What I did is I just got a air power drone. Thank you for your products. You guys make good stuff. Anyway, so made sure it was a plastic buckle on it um, no silicone to peel off and what I did here is I unscrewed it strapped this battery strap to fit across this 3 cell pulse 1550 um, I got an adapter that's gonna go of course to power up a crossfire so it doesn't drain the batteries. You guys know all about that. Um, so I fit the strap to the battery. And then placed it there. Different orientations. Found the perfect orientation where actually it stays out of the way. And I'll, I'll show you guys. But let me explain first. the. So I, what I did is all I did was I just notched where the screws go. After I figured out how to, the battery strap was going to fit properly. Because once it's in there, it ain't moving. It, I mean, the tolerances are so tight between this and the controller. Yeah, this, this thing is not going anywhere. So you, that was what I had to fiddle with. Uh, luckily, I got it on. I didn't waste too many battery straps. I got it with this one. So anyway, I measured it. Then I just notched it with some scissors on both sides for both screws and then placed it on the controller and screwed it on tight and as you can see there's no gap this looks like a gap down here but that's actually just a shiny metal fits perfect um, I'll go ahead and strap the battery to it so you guys can see uh, what I mean. Uh, and yeah, I got an XT60 on here that I soldered on, and I got, got to pull that off so because I know the Crossfire needs a <clears throat> XT30. So basically, I'm just going to go like that. And I made it crooked, but 
there's even enough room to push it up in, in there. There you go. I mean, it's a little wiggly side to side, but it even fits kind of almost under there. You got some gap, as you can see, hopefully, uh, so that it's not, you know, it's not interfering with this at all. And that's how it looks. Turn it back over. Of course, you won't see that. Fingers can still go on either side if you're a thumber. Um, I got a bunch of these packs, so I, I don't mind, you know, changing them out um, on long sessions, even though I have extra batteries, 18650s for this. Um, okay, that's it. Video's too long. Thank you.